Tasty Tales, Fish and Chips in British Culture. Hello English learners and food enthusiasts. Today, we are diving deep into a dish that's not just a meal but an emblem of British identity, fish and chips. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the language related to this dish, but also its cultural significance in Britain. Fish and chips is a simple dish consisting of fried fish, usually cod or haddock, and deep-fried potatoes, chips. But where did it come from? The concept of fried fish was introduced to England by Spanish and Portuguese Jewish immigrants in the 16th century. Potatoes, on the other hand, were added to the mix in the 19th century, making this duo a hit in London and the south of England. Over the years, fish and chips became more than just food. It became an institution. From the seaside resorts of Brighton to the bustling streets of Manchester, fish and chips became a staple, especially on Friday nights. It's common for people to line up at their local chippy, that's British slang for a fish and chips shop, to enjoy this delicious treat wrapped in paper. Let's delve into some vocabulary related to fish and chips. Batter, a mixture of flour, water, and sometimes eggs, used to coat the fish before frying. Vinegar, a liquid often sprinkled on fish and chips to give it a tangy flavor. Mushy peas, a side dish often served with fish and chips, made from dried marrow fat peas. Salt, just like vinegar, Brits love sprinkling their chips with a good amount of salt. Takeaway, another term for to go or carry out, used when ordering food to be eaten outside the restaurant. During World War II, fish and chips were one of the few foods in the UK not rationed. This shows how essential they were to the British diet and morale. There are more than 10,000 fish and chips shops across the UK. That's eight times the number of McDonald's outlets. Fish and chips is more than a dish. It's a reflection of Britain's history, its culture, and its heart. So next time you munch on those crispy chips and golden fish, remember the stories behind each bite. We hope this video deepened your understanding and appetite for English language and culture. Until next time, happy learning and bon appétit!